the Edge Radio Broadcast is looking for voluntary international correspondents and interviewers. Are you able to talk to someone objectively? Can you set aside your beliefs and allow others to express theirs? Can you ask searching questions whilst remaining impartial? Would you like to be in the forefront of the exploration into the unexplained politics, religion, environment and health? Do you want to be part of the Edge broadcast search for truth? Most importantly, can you smile and remain friendly even if your belief system comes into question? If you have answered yes to the above, we would like to hear from you. Previous journalistic or broadcast experience is not You're required, to the but a deep interest program. in our mask and the shroud so of lies is essential. As a volunteer correspondent, you will become an important member of the Edge Radio Broadcast staff. More information can be found on the Edge's homepage. Just look for the link. We are looking for Edge correspondents just under the main media player at www.theedgeam.com. Please note that the role of correspondent is not guaranteed and it also depends on your willingness to communicate with a wide variety of people who have varied experiences and beliefs which may not be similar to your own experiences and beliefs. As a correspondent, you will be an essential element in the Edge broadcast search for truth. Just click, we are looking for Edge correspondents just under the main media player on the Edge's homepage at www.theedgeam.com. Fact or fiction, discovering the truth together here on the Edge radio broadcast. Like I do? Are you getting a feeling the Edge radio broadcast is growing? Well, if so, you're right. The Edge program has been hitting the bullseye of what people are interested in. Do you feel like I do? We're now broadcasting 24 hours a day, seven days a week, from the new EBN, the Edge Broadcasting Network. We've added a web store. We're making a difference in the search for truth, and we're sharing our success with you. Do you feel like I do? From around the world, people are listening. They're sending in their stories and comments. They're making guest suggestions. They're telling their friends about the show. Do you feel like I do? Listen every Saturday night, 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and feel like I do, right here on this station. Welcome back. I'm Andy Radford for the Edge Thursday Show here in the Edge's UK studio. If you want to get in touch with Stuart Harrison or any of our Edge correspondents, just go to the Edge's homepage at theedgeam.com and look for the correspondence bio link. All their information will appear on your computer screen and their preferred subject matter and the things they report on. Perhaps you might want to visit the Edges news page where our correspondents continually update this with new information. If you have any news for us, just go to this page and in the top corner of the screen you will see the link news hotline. Just click this and it will send an email straight to the Edges news desk editorial. Perhaps you want to get involved with the new Edge TV and we are looking for news reports, video casts and documentaries. If you have any information you want to give us for Edge TV, please send them in to andy at the edgeam.com. If you want to record your own video presentation, we would love to hear from you. Other ways you can help us here at the edgeam.com is by going to our new Edgypedia. You will find the link to this on the Edge's homepage. We are looking to update and create an extensive, vast database of all the subjects we cover here at the edgeam.com. You can add your comments to the bottom of other people's comments, and you can also add your own information to the new Edgypedia. 
Truth Brigade Radio is one of the main media outlets that strives to get the information about organized gang stalking to the wider population. Here is Edge correspondent Gina Romano talking to Christy, one of the hosts of Truth Brigade Radio. Just a quick note, the interview is in two parts and part two can be found on the Edge's Thursday links page. Here is part one now. Hi, this is Gina Romano, Edge Correspondent. Today I'm here with Christy. Christy is from Truth Brigade Radio in San Diego, and she, like all my previous guests, is a victim of organized stalking and electromagnetic weaponry harassment. Christy's here to tell the truth and to tell her story. Christy, do you want to begin? Well, first of all, welcome. And thank you. Yeah, thank you. And do you want to begin by telling the listeners about your story? Well, goodness. Um, after hearing your story, it's like, does anyone really care to hear mine? Um, <laughs> sure they do, because they all have a different background, a different meaning, and yet they're all the same. So Exactly. Yes. Well, you know, I became a victim because of my political activism. And, well, I didn't even know what any of this stuff was. I just, I mean, and for the first year... I just thought that I just met a lot of really mean people and, and that I was unlucky. I mean, and I have videos and videos and videos of street theater, like stuff I guarantee nobody has ever seen before. I mean, in all the gang stalking videos I've watched, I've never seen anything like this. And people would always ask, gosh, why do they treat you this way? And then I would find that the police would also be ganging up on me. In fact, I even have them on video conspiring against me. And I still, you know, didn't have any answers because I didn't know what it was. So then finally, uh, one of my friends says, hey, I think that guy is an agent provocateur. I'm like, well, what's that? Well, here, why don't you watch this video? And, you know, I had heard about COINTELPRO and things and Alex Jones movies. But in my limited mind, <laughs> I just thought it was for really important people, for the rich and famous, or the the White House, or, you know, terrorists abroad. I, I didn't think that, you know, it would happen to regular people, and especially me. It, it, that was the hardest thing trying to convince myself, because here's all the signs, here's all the documents, and now there's actually a name to what's happening to me, not just me, how about 7 million other documented victims in America? Not um, to mention globally. Yeah, yeah. And I'm getting emails from everywhere. And it's, you know, so I felt better now that there was a label or, or something to refer to it other than just being nuts and all these crazy things happening to me. But it still took, even after I knew what it was or, or was introduced and started studying, it 